Hi guys, welcome to the second video of the series. In this video, we'll see how to create a land cover map from Landsat 8 multispectral image in QGIS. This video, I won't be getting into technical intricacies of how things work and all of that. I'm sure you can find enough and more learning materials online to read and understand the mechanism behind. This video is more of a hands-on practice as to how you can actually use tools and apply them as opposed to explaining how they work. There are multiple ways of doing it, unsupervised and supervised classification techniques. Right now, we'll use a supervised classification technique using the semi-automatic classification plugin in QGIS. If you don't have it, you can go to plugins and manage and install plugins. Now here you search for SCP, which is semi-automatic classification plugin. If you don't have it, you will get install plugin option here. I already have it. So that's why I'm getting an install option. So now, like I mentioned in previous video, the image was little tilted. This is because the ROI that we created on Google Earth Engine was in a global projection system, whereas we forced the image to be in a local UTM uh, uh, projection system. That's why the pixel size here shows 30. I would like to keep this as it is. So what I'll do is I'll clip this to a smaller uh, extent. I'll uh, type clip raster here in the processing toolbox. So this is my only image in the QJS canvas. Uh, I'll use select extent on canvas and then I will clip it for a smaller area. Okay, cool. So let's save the image to this Bangalore the image is now clipped I'll remove the old one and because FCC image gives us the best difference in features I'll roll back to band 543 so I'll go to view panels SCP doc okay so that's the semi-automatic classification plugin doc so this is the band set icon either you can click this or you can go to SCP and click on band set so here there is multiband image list from drop down see my image is not appearing here I'll refresh it and then I'll see it's here. So now that I have selected this, all the seven bands are appearing here. I'll close this and then I'll go to input. I'll create a new input signature file. I'll call this file demo training signatures. Okay. So now there are MC ID and there are CID. So consider MC as like major class and then subclasses are represented by CID. So in the MC name, let's say first I'll write built up and then I'll leave C name default, whatever it is. Then I'll click on ROI, zoom to an area that shows built up only. I'll collect a signature by left clicking and then right click to finish a polygon I'll then hold control and then create more polygons if I don't hold control then the previous polygon that I made will disappear that's not what we want now the catch here is that you have to give enough samples across your study area so that model learns how to classify each cell if you select pure pixels only and then the confusing ones if you refrain from adding a training set then the model will also confuse in confusing areas and so on so once you have created one class uh, save it so the other problem that I see is sometimes even when you hold control uh, previous polygons disappear so what I do is I create let's say a couple of polygons and then I save it and then I'll create more polygons and then save it under subclass in built up itself Okay, now that this has been saved, let's say one round of sample collection, I'll go to more areas and then let's say see automatically the subclass has become two. I'll collect more sample and then hold control and then more samples 
and so on and then I'll save it again okay these two sample sets are there you can go and collect as many as you want uh, I'll change the color to red just to be able to differentiate only major class is fine now what I'll do I'll uh, create vegetation class I'll make MCID 2 and roll back this to 1 although this doesn't matter much just make sure that MCID you are careful with otherwise that will be a problem I'll uh, click on ROI and then go and select some dark vegetation areas okay that was the first one I'm not holding control I'll hold control now and then collect a different kind of vegetation like I said make sure that you are collecting different types of classes so that model can learn from it if you select only pure ones then the model will also be able to classify only pure cells but we want it to classify all sorts of cells I'll save it now okay similarly you can collect more samples for vegetation uh, I'll move on to creating water MCID 3 collect samples so see some water bodies are dark in color some are light we just have to make sure that we give all types of examples plus please ensure that only that particular class is within your training set P don't mix up what I mean by saying this is that let's say there are often vegetation classes let's say for this one within water body so just because it's easier to create a polygon one should not hurry and take everything see for instance right now I missed holding control my previous polygons appear disappeared that's why holding control is important okay I'll change the color for vegetation to something like this and water can be blue and then I'm talk doing only like major classes here I'll add a fourth class which will say others you can always do subclasses and so on now I'll change the color for others also to something similar to other land use maps okay now that this is done you have this button here this plus symbol uh, click on this and click anywhere on the map so based on whatever signatures you have collected so far it will generate a land cover map for a smaller area we can use this to identify anomalies in our uh, sa uh, collected sample and so on so this is for a small area we toggle and oh looks like it did pretty well first time itself uh, okay see for instance uh, you see that th this is clearly a road major road and then the model classifies this as built up so what I'll do is I'll remove this layer and then here MCID I'll go back to veg built up because I already have two CIDs I'll make it three now I'll click on ROI and then I'll make sure that I collect this okay this may not be enough we need more thicker roads in our sample what else where else built up a cyan color okay now that this is done I'll save okay I'll switch off this shape file and then click on this again and then again see if it has improved the built up problem okay so now as you can see that water uh, linear cells that we were seeing earlier is now gone so I'll remove it you can go ahead and collect as many samples as you want for this video I created more samples just because I don't waste time doing that here in the video I'll uh, open that Bangalore Elite signatures this one I created earlier and this is what I just showed I'll open this Bangalore one and as you can see built up vegetation water and others there are many many uh, classes okay so now I'll click on any of the buttons which will open this I'll go to band processing and then classification here the catch is that you have to select MCID which is our main classes ID that's what uh, we want to use we are not interested in uh, subclasses 
uh, in the algorithm you can choose uh, you can try and see which work which one works for uh, your study area each one of them have their own boons and perils I'll leave that default I'll uh, click on run then I save the Bangalore 2021 land cover okay now classification is complete let's see what it looks like uh, water is pretty much captured well built up is also good only barren is also fine it's just that I feel that vegetation is a little under captured so anyway I'll close this SCP now like I said in the beginning there are multiple ways of doing it and I'm sure you guys must be aware of several spectral indices and so on that are used to do some of these for instance normalized difference vegetation index water index built up index and so on so uh, let's let's extract using NDVI vegetation index and then merge it in this uh, classification so I'll go to Rasa calculator and uh, water NDVI is NIR minus R by NIR plus R here NIR is band 5th so band 5 minus band 4 divided by band 5 plus band 4 that's the formula and I want to save it here so I'll copy this and I'll say Bangalore L8 okay uh, go to symbology pseudo color make it quantile uh, select greens it's easier and then classes maybe you can select 15 classes so here higher values greener in color represent vegetation I'm sure that lower ones are not vegetation so what I'll do I'll uh, one by one make them transparent I'll double click on this it went into my other screen I'll make it opaque I'll repeat this for the other ones also at least a couple of them I did it till 0.29 let's see what the map now looks like I'll switch off the land cover and then let's see NDVI only okay it's accounting a lot of vegetation cells see these ones are not necessarily vegetation so I'll increase the threshold some more okay so I removed up to 39 so everything below this will disappear and this to me now looks like a good vegetation threshold okay I'll what I'll do I'll copy this value this one go to raster calculator and do a conditional uh, the raster creation so wherever NDVI is greater than this value multiply it by 2 because that's the value of our vegetation class and then add wherever NDVI is less than equals to that value you use the land cover here land cover corrected okay we have something I'll copy it from here styles paste see uh, this was our initial land cover data and we used NDVI to add vegetation to it and this looks like a much better representation obviously I mean you can play around with this collect more samples and uh, do whatever you want investigate the area closely but uh, for demonstration I think this is a pretty cool map given the time spent on this in less time we managed to create a good land cover map even for sample collection I didn't spend more than say 20 minutes so thanks for watching this video hope you'll uh, manage to create your own land cover map uh, you can find all the data and uh, signature file in the same github repository that I linked in the previous video thanks for watching this 